Hi, my name's Mark. Um, I'm just going to show you how to create uh, a circular hole. This is an updated video to a video I did prior to this, uh, just to kind of, sort of polish it up slightly and just show you, tell you a couple of other things about it. Uh, effectively, um, I've, on this video, you can see the finished product and you can see the amount of vertices, which is quite a low one. There's actually 16 dots here, I'll explain that in a moment. Uh, we'll go back to the main object selection and delete it. We will then control shift K to get the create shape up, shift down on a 2x2x2 two by two by two and select it, control shift K to get rid of that and I'm just going to highlight all of these on the face selection sorry start there like so I'm just going to delete those so we've got one flat face at the moment now if you highlight that with the face selection and go to scale tool I can hold the shift key down and just bring it in just to make a square hole for the moment now you can undo that and you've got a square hole lovely how do you make that a circle? Well, Control Z, and we're back here. And you can see there's four vertices at the moment. I want to make that into 16. The reason I want to make it into 16 is, uh, rather than 18, is it means you'd have to have 14 dots, which is not divisible by four. So if you put three on each side, uh, that'll make 16 dots in, uh, completely. So if we go to here and go down to subdivide edges, you'll be able to see that I've already uh, set it to three. So I click on subdivide edges and go back to here and then you've got all the dots. What you can then do is start to highlight them and bring them out like so. If you do that with this one, you can see, so you're highlighting them, keeping the shift key down whilst on the appropriate um, axes of the scale tool, and you can bring this out like so. You can see that you've got to bring certain ones out to try and create that circle, but you can see it's quite easy. So what effectively you're doing, I can do the select like so to select two vertices or six vertices and keep the shift key down, left key down and you can see you can change how far out and in it goes. You can then see that you've got a reasonable circle. Now you could be very careful and we'll get that really accurate but at the moment i'm just going to keep it simple so for instance if we highlighted keep the control key down and left click whilst on face selection you can go down on the left here and click on the merge you can go to this one highlight the circle like so and delete it and go back to the move tool keep the shift key down bring that out like so and you've now got a circle or a tunnel depending on what you want um, if you go back to the object selection I can then put a color to it which we had before was blue that is low poly because as you can see there's not many vertices there it's not very complicated and it can be manipulated if you need to do that at any stage uh, and there we are so hopefully that's uh, a nice simple way to create something as you can see if you highlight something here like so you can start bringing this out highlight here and bring this out highlight here and bring this out you can see what you can do you can also highlight the whole lot and do that and do that to make sure there's nothing else other than that 
working and if you want you can then bring this out like so if you want to you can also move it left right and put it wherever you want go back to there bring that out go down a bit go down a bit and you can you can see you can manipulate it how you want if you want a really small hole you can do that go back sorry go back to face selection like so and you can move that wherever you want so it just gives you an idea of what you can do to make a hole in a building an object whatever thank you